Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, our goal will be to answer the question, 6 times 10 to the negative fourth equals what? To answer this question, you'll need to understand a couple of mathematical concepts. First of all, how to evaluate powers of 10, and second of all, how to multiply by decimals like 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, and so on. So you might already be familiar with the fact that when you raise 10 to a power, that means that you're multiplying it times itself. For example, 10 to the fourth is 10 multiplied by itself four times, which gives you 10,000. 10 to the third is 10 times itself three times, and so on. This means that 10 to the first power is just 10. And we also need to remember that 10 to the zero power is actually one. There's a correlation between the number of zeros, one, two, three, four in this case, and the exponent four. Here we have three zeros and the exponent three, and so on. For 10 to the zero power, you'll notice there are actually no zeros. After 10 to the zero, the pattern actually continues with negative exponents. When you raise 10 to the negative first power, that's telling you to take the reciprocal. In other words, move the 10 to the other side of the fraction bar, and we have 1 tenth, which in decimal form is 0 0.1. 10 to the negative second power is telling you to move 10 squared to the other side of the fraction bar. This means we have 1 over 10 times 10, or 1 one hundredth, which is 0 0.01 in decimal form. In the case of negative exponents, there's a correlation between the number of decimal places to the right of the decimal and the exponent. For example, 0 0.1 has one decimal place, and the power was negative 1. 0 0.01 has two decimal places, and the power was negative 2. Can you guess how we would write 10 to the negative third in decimal notation? Continuing the pattern, we would have three decimal places. So we would write the number one, which would make up one of the decimal places, and we would need two more zeros to get our second and third decimal place. So 10 to the negative third is 0 .001. So what we need to know about powers of 10 is that positive powers indicate the number of zeros, and negative powers indicate the number of decimal places, including the zeros and the one, to the right of the decimal. Next, we need to review how to multiply by decimals like 0 .01. Remember, multiplying 0 .001 times 5 is the same as multiplying 1 1,000th times 5. Or in other words, 5 1,000ths. Now the number of zeros in the denominator is an indication of the number of decimal places. So this is equivalent to 0 .005, three decimal places. Now we don't want to always have to think about fractions, so instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to simply think about multiplying the one times the five, and then counting the number of decimal places. Let's try this with 15 times 0 .001. 15 times one is just 15. 0 .001 has three decimal places, so we're going to count three decimal places, starting at the five and moving to the left. One, two, three. Our decimal needs to go here, so we're going to need another zero to hold that place value. So what we need to understand about multiplying decimals like this is to write the number down with the same number of decimal places as the negative power of 10 represented by 0 .01, 0 .001, and so on. Now we have enough tools in our toolbox to answer the question, six times 10 to the negative fourth is equal to what? The first step is to think about the power of 10. 6 times 10 to the negative fourth is the same as 6 times what decimal? Well, the power of negative 4 is telling you we need four decimal places to the right of the decimal. 0, 0, 0, and then a 1. Now we think about multiplying the 6 times 0, 0, 0, 1. 6 times 1 is 6, but we need four decimal places. One, two, three more than the one containing the six. So the answer is C. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. You can also post any questions in the comments below.